Hey, what's going on guys? Butterbar here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I, I want to have a little bit of fun. I want to talk about this topic that's kind of going on right now in, in the Warzone and, and Call of Duty. Uh, about apparently there being a DLC weapon that's pay to win. And, and I'll tell you this, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by any means because we run into this every single Call of Duty. Every single Call of Duty that's come out in like the past four or five years, we've run into times where they put in DLC weapons that are more powerful than the original weapons that are released in the game. It happens every single year. Black Ops 4, I can remember it being just so bad because people would pay hundreds of dollars trying to unlock a DLC weapon out of the crate system, out of the loot box system, and that. So people would be spending hundreds of dollars to get this you know, very sought out DLC weapons that was super powerful, eventually got nerfed, which pissed people off because of how much money they spent to get that, but Modern Warfare had something similar to that, but now it's running into Cold War where the MAC-10, I guess it's called the Gal Gallantry, uh, MAG-10, I'll pop up a picture up there, that way you guys can see what it is, um, apparently is, uh, this blueprint is more powerful than the base version of the MAG-10, especially in Warzone is where people are kind of noticing it, uh, and especially with the, the recent update with actually taking down some of the damage output of some of the Black Ops Cold War weapons, uh, that are in Warzone that got added to it, um, uh, back in December. Now, I'll go and just say this outright. You guys know I'm not a huge Warzone person. I'm not a huge Cold War person, not really enjoying the game. And even with the um, just very limited amount of time that I play war uh, Modern Warfare at this point, um, I'm just not really into that, uh, into Call of Duty a at the moment. I mean, m maybe something will change later on in the future, but uh, currently right now, at least with the current state that the, the Call of Duty games are out, uh, it's just nothing I'm very interested into at all, and especially now with this news um, that apparently there's a paid DLC weapon uh, in it, a paid, D a paid to win weapon. Um, it doesn't surprise me, and it just makes me not want to play the game even more. So anyway, let's get into this. Let's talk about it. I want to give you guys my opinion about uh, the current situation and account how everything's going. So, let's talk about this. Re, uh, what was it? About last month, so December, that is when the, the newest uh, Season 1 update came to Cold War, but also into Warzone added weapons uh, in Warzone from Black Ops Cold War into Warzone. Uh, that was the DMR, that was uh, the, the MAC-10, as well as a, a lot of other things. Well, uh, recently, because of so much outrage, so much uh, you know criticism about some of the most overpowered weapons in Warzone with the DMR, with the MAC-10, and the dual pistols and whatnot, um, people were fed up and giving a lot of criticism to uh, Raven and, 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 and Treyarch and whatnot, trying to get these weapons reduced and damaged because the meta is 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 crazy. At least it's from, from what I hear in the streams that I watch and YouTube videos I watch is that the meta is just dumb at this point with the lack of variety uh, that's kind of going on in, in, in Warzone. And honestly, variety is not really anything new again. I mean, I've complained about variety in Modern Warfare and whatnot. There's just guns that are more powerful than others, and you just kind of have to live with it at this point. But I, I definitely understand the concerns that people have, at least when war, in Warzone, when it comes to um, not having a whole lot of variety and the meta just being kind of boring uh, because you always run into the same issues of having to use the same weapon, you're going against the same weapon and whatnot. So anyway, I digress. An update recently, just in the past couple of weeks, came out to actually drop down some of the, the weapon damage and whatnot to, to some of these weapons, which is funny to know that even from this latest update where it actually reduced damage to things really didn't actually do a whole lot to <laughs> to certain stats of weapons to where really the update didn't do a whole lot of anything well one of the updates one of the things that they changed in this update was actually reduce the damage of the mac 10 just the base variation of it well apparently in cold war there is a variant there is a blueprint that you can buy called the gallantry um that actually has no damage uh, reduction from the last update so apparently you can buy this weapon back buy this mac 10 and it is more powerful than the base variants from the latest update now honestly to me i see that as pay to win it, and again like i said it's nothing new that we've experienced we've experienced this every single time in the game but people are actually pointing it out as saying this is pay to win you can pay money to get this mac 10 and it is it is more powerful than the free version now i will say this uh, <laughs> I do find it funny. I really do. I find it funny that 
we've kind of gone down this road before. Now, is this something that will probably be changed later on? Probably. Some people have either said, you know, Mac 10, the Mac 10 should just be brought up to where the gallantry is at because at this point you either bring up the, the base version of it or you bring down um, the, the variant, the blueprint of it. But I don't think I – don't, I don't see them actually doing that. I don't at least – uh, hear me out, um, and this is actually one thing I tried to do before actually making this video. I got on a Black Ops Cold War, tried to look up for the Gallantry uh, yeah, uh, MAC-10 variant, the blueprint and whatnot, to buy it, and it wasn't showing up for me. So I don't know if it's just, maybe it shows up every now and then in the marketplace to where you can buy it every now and then, but for at least for me, it wasn't showing up for, for Cold War. So maybe they removed it, or maybe it's just not available for me to see to purchase. Maybe I have to buy a couple of variant packs or something like that before uh, it's actually available for me to see. Uh, but honestly, I don't see, if anything, again, like I said, it wouldn't surprise me that it it is not changed. It's it's not changed. It, this is another reason for you to buy the blueprint. They are all about making money at this point. Activision knows that Cold War really did not do that great. They know that Warzone is their big money maker. Uh, and I'll probably actually do a video about that later on, about how Cold War is just not really the the game that Activision is wanting it to be. Um, but currently, right now, they know they're going to make their money off the, of their cosmetic items. They know they're going to make their money off their blueprints, off their um, operator uh, you know, skins and whatnot. So what's one way of being able to make more money? If they actually make some of the blueprints, some of the money that, some of the some of the things that you buy in the shop, more powerful than the variants. Now, I will say this: maybe this is a bug. I think some people have been saying, "Yeah, this is probably a bug." Hopefully, they'll fix it. But I'll say this: How long did it take for you guys to get an update on changes to Warzone off the weapons that were added in December? It took a damn month for you actually get the update, the actual get the changes to weapons that were in the newest update back in December it took that long so do i see them making a change to this very long no i i think what's gonna happen i and this is me just me i think what's gonna happen is that okay people are starting to notice the mac 10 a uh, gallantry variant blueprint um is more powerful than the base variant well you know what ah you know what we'll we'll make the update we'll make some changes but uh, but during this time of of noticing that there's a problem noticing that they're an issue Hopefully that gains a little bit more revenue for us. Hopefully people see that, oh, they want that little edge. They want that little edge in Warzone. Get that MAC-10 that's a little bit more powerful. Hopefully that'll up the ante. Hopefully that'll up uh, our purchases uh, of people buying this variant to where we make a little bit more money. I think that is where this situation is going to go. Will they eventually fix it? Yeah, but we're going to make a couple mil, a couple thousand, a couple mil. You know, because we're going to make some money. We're going to make some dough before we make some changes. And eventually, after, you know, not too many people are buying the update because or buying the blueprint um, because a lot more people have it and whatnot, then, then we'll make the changes. But currently right now, because people are seeing that it is an advantage to actually having this blueprint and people will be buying this blueprint to have that little bit of an edge. It's all about that edge. Having that advantage in Warzone and multiplayer and whatnot that people will buy this blueprint. And then once they, uh, they see that people aren't buying it because everybody has already bought it and everybody has that, that advantage. Well, it's funny. You buy it to get the advantage, but since everybody else buys it to get the advantage, then it's just a flat plane. Everybody has it, so it's just, it's normal at that point. So it's, you don't really have the advantage. You might have the advantage for maybe a couple of days, couple of weeks, maybe a month or so, but eventually everybody will buy it because everybody wants that advantage. So then maybe after that, maybe some changes will, will be made. But again, like I'm saying, I'm making this example going off a bit of of the update to the recent uh, season one stuff to the recent weapons that were moved over the war zone it took a month to get those updates and now you guys are asking for another update because of the base version is weaker than a paid weapon uh, blueprint in the market in the market store so I don't know man uh, at least to me one like I said it's not surprising however I find it very funny that at this point, um, people are surprised, and I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not by any means, and Activision is going to get their money, one way or another, they're going to get their money, if the way it is for paid DLC weapons, and people are going to buy it to get that a little bit small of advantage of Warzone, well, we're going to leave it in the game for a little bit before we make an update, so I don't know, that's at least me, that's my theory about it, let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about it, do you think that they're going to leave it in, um, for a little bit, so they make a little bit of money, so everybody buys that little bit of an advantage in Warzone, or do you think they're going to change it within, like, the week or so? I doubt it, but let me know in the comments below about it, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, please have a great rest of the day, and if you're playing Warzone, 
You might spend, I, I don't know, I, I don't. how much does it cost? How much does the MAC-10 cost, the variant? I don't know. I can't buy it. It doesn't show up for me, but maybe it shows up for you. So let me know actually how much it costs. Maybe 20, 20 bucks, 20 buck advantage? Is that is that worth to some of you guys? I don't know. <laughs> Not worth it to me. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of the day. Look forward to talking to you guys all next time.